Make your own Halloween mask. I'm going to show you one fun and easy way to create your own Halloween mask with materials that can be found at your local hobby stores such as Michael's and Hobby Lobby. Of course, the more experience and materials you have on hand, the better the final product. But here's one way that beginners can make your own mask right at home. First, let's get our materials together. You'll need some model magic. It comes in white and also other earth tones, any of which could suffice as skin tones. We'll need a little bit of liquid latex. Paint, uh, as in some Crayola brand paint, is safe to use and great to use later also uh, for dressing up your hands and other body parts. Uh, a little fake blood, if you have that on hand, that will work just as well to mix in with the latex. We'll need some paint brushes a styrofoam wig head or something to hold the model magic masks shape as it dries and you can keep a reference mask or prop handy for inspiration step one take some model magic foam and press it out till it is something of an oval shape that will cover the entire face of the subject and no less than about an eighth of an inch thick when you're done with it Go ahead and make your eye holes, nose holes, if any, and slit for the mouth. My mask is going to be a zombie freak of some sort, so I'm going to use the paintbrush tips to draw character lines and place indentations where perhaps some skin has already fallen off. I'm going to add teeth with more model magic and double check the eye holes against my own eyes before I place the mask onto the styrofoam head for shaping. Make sure to place the nose of the mask over the foam head's nose, as at this point it doesn't really matter if the eyes or anything else line up. If you have any prosthetic or other elements to add now, such as a pencil that's poking out of the forehead or cheek, this is the time to add that in. Now let's wait 12 to 24 hours for the mask to completely dry. The thicker the mask material, the longer it's going to take to dry. Step 2. Take some liquid latex and mix in some red paint or fake blood to get just the right skin tone to the latex. Paint in the bloody areas directly onto the mask with the paint or fake blood. As soon as it looks dry enough, come back and apply a good thin coat of the now flesh colored liquid latex over the entire mask. Once again, the drying time will depend on how thick you apply the latex. Suggested to wait time, 12 to 24 hours. When this step is done, you might just want to skip to step 5 if your mask looks cool enough to you already. Step 3. At this point, you can mix up more latex with either a heavy dose of green or red paint for rotting flesh or even wounds. Wet some toilet paper or paper towels and dip them into the latex and place it onto the mask on the desired locations. I've added the latex boogers, which have dried around the mouth of the latex jar, for added effect. Wait 12 to 24 hours. Step 4. At this time, I like to return to apply another layer of clear latex over the entire mask. Wait 12 to 24 hours. I said it was fun and easy, I never said it was fast. Step 5. As the great Bob Ross used to say, there comes a time when you have to stop messing around with your new masterpiece and call it done. Now you can either carefully staple or cut holes in the sides of the mask for the purpose of placing elastic bands, rubber band, or string. I've cut a rubber band and affixed it to the sides of the mask with latex. When the latex dries, that will prove to be a strong bond to hold that rubber band in place. All in all, I'd say not too bad of a job. Of course, the more attempts you make, the better your results will be. As they say, practice makes perfecto. Now, if you're using your mask for a scene in a movie, just add some fake blood or maybe some fresh latex just before you roll camera for a dramatic effect. Let me give you an example. Here's a photo of the mask I created and here is the following scene where I used that mask in the 2009 zombie movie, Redneck Carnage. Have fun and be safe.
I used to be a horror movie buff, and then I decided to make a movie of my own. I'm John Z. It's taken 10 years worth of expense and experience, hundreds of dollars in seminars, and hundreds of hours of reading every conceivable book on the subject to get the expertise to present this information to others interested in chasing their dreams a little harder. Make Your Movie Right Now is a crash course for the beginner filmmaker and contains every vital morsel of wisdom that got me where I am today. If I can do it, you can do it.